it's mid-October, and it's time to winterize the poop. Here's my dirty coop. Some of the basics for winterizing the coop are close up the windows, but keep some ventilation. If you button it up too tight, you're gonna have moisture, and moisture is bad. Clean out and replace any dirty or wet bedding. Wet bedding creates moisture, which creates frostbite. Add extra protein and fat to the diets. Let's make your chickens healthy before we get into the hardcore winter. Provide water daily and keep it from freezing. This is pretty basic and a no-brainer. Before we get down and dirty and clean the coop, let's go shopping. If you're looking for a heated waterer, one of these plastic ones come off easy. You can fill it with water and it has a plug-in base as long as you have an outlet near you. If you happen to have one of these double wall fountains and you don't know how to heat it, the solution is this heated base. You just set it on top, plug it in, and you're good. If you are heating your coop, the reflecting brooding lamps and the 250 watt bulbs, they're gonna be your ticket. Cause it's winter, and I don't usually put light on my coop, usually the egg production goes down. But this is the perfect time to worm my chickens because I'm not getting eggs and you need at least two to three weeks after you worm in order to eat your eggs if you use this stuff. For bedding, wood chips is a very good choice. You have the smaller economy size and then you have bolts usually in the back. All you have to do is ask. Dust on. It's a fly, on and, no, it's a fly and lice tick control. This is what you want to sprinkle directly on your birds or in your bedding. Diatomaceous earth. You can sprinkle this directly into their food or directly on the bedding in order to keep lice, any soft-bodied insects away. Because it's fall, I'm going to be increasing the amount of protein in my birds. I'm going to be mixing meat bird with my layer. This helps support muscles, feathers, as well as their ovaries. This is what my coop looks like with the clean litter. I still have to put the fresh bedding down. I've scraped the roosts off, got their drop pan clean. I'll need to put more straw or hay in their nesting boxes. And I got all the dirt and filth out.
almost done. Okay. The deep litter method is very basic. You're not going to clean your coop all winter. And basically, all it is, is it's going to be composting inside the coop. At the end of it, in the spring, you should have a fine layer of dirt on the bottom. That is how you know it's going to be working. I'm getting a lot of questions from people with flocks. Do I need heat? Do I need light? Not necessarily. Chickens need about 15 hours of light in order to keep laying eggs. What you may not know is that they have a cycle where they shut down. When you put the light on, you're overburdening your chicken and you're shortening its lifespan of productivity. I have chickens that are 12 year olds. They still lay eggs for me. Now, heating. You don't necessarily need heating. You don't need to button up your coop completely. What you need is good ventilation and dry bedding. As soon as moisture gets in, that's when you're gonna have a problem. In the end, winterizing your coop should be stress-free, easy, so you can enjoy yourself and your chickens.